Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Ebony the Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-December general love reading. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Libra, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Zoom by Lionel Richie and the Commodores. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow in the reading if you so choose to. Okay, so I just got a message right now. You know, Lionel Richie was in the Commodores, but then he went solo. And that's what I'm getting right now very strong. Like the message that I got, first and foremost, when I did the pre-shuffle, you had the Queen of Wands. In the middle, you had the Strength card. And then on the other side, you had the Queen of Cups. There's two women involved in the scenario. Could be two men too, but I'm getting very strongly two women, okay? Because there's an energy of a pregnancy or a baby mama in the situation. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm getting very strongly here. Um, Heavy on the Leo energy because again, you had a strength card that's major arcana for Leo and then you had the queen of wands that's Leo. Could be Sag Aries, but I'm getting very strong Leo. Someone has very strong Leo placements in the chart. And then also water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the queen of cups. Now, Zoom, what I'm getting right here, okay, is like this person, I feel like a love interest is leaving someone that they have a child with or someone who is currently pregnant to be with you. I feel like you're getting ready to hear a message. I feel like this is going to be a person directly, the love interest directly is going to come in and tell you that I'm done with this person. I've left this person. For some of you all, not going to lie, it's quite a slimy situation. Well, I won't say that per se. You guys know I don't like to impart my own personal opinion and stuff, but I feel like, okay, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so I'm hearing that for some people, it's like, how how could you trust somebody who would leave someone while they're pregnant, you know? But here's the thing that I have to correct that. Whether or not someone is pregnant, that does not mean you have to stay with this individual because, you know, people have flings and hookups and situationships, and it can result in something like that. But that does not mean that you have to stay in that relationship if it's not something positive or it's not something that you guys know you see a future in. I feel like someone has chosen you over another person, again, Free will, everybody do whatever you want to. And I know a lot of people will say, well, I can't be with someone who would do that. So that's why I got that message. And I get it. But I do feel like this this situation is very weird. I don't feel like this person was in love with this person if someone is pregnant. And then also if they have a child with this person or children, it seems like even that was not healthy. They were just going back and forth with that person because they have history with that individual. But I feel like this person is going to come towards you and just hearing a song Zoom, I feel like it's going to happen quickly. Like it's going to happen very quickly and unexpectedly for you. And I want you to also know that we are currently in a fire sign season. And fire is all about action for movement, like putting the pedal to the metal, like putting action into the words. Not just saying things, but actually doing it. So if this person has been telling you for a while, like I'm trying to move out, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, I'm not in this situation for real. This is just something I tried to stick into it because I don't want to see like a deadbeat for just leaving. Whether the person is pregnant right now or has children, I feel like this person was doing it because I, I keep getting a vibe of children, children, children. Because remember I said I've seen the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups and both are mothers. Those are female figures. So somebody didn't want to be the bad guy and leave the situation because they do have history with this person. Because queens are people who have high-ranking positions in people's lives. They, they hold positions of hierarchy. They sit on a throne. So this is someone that has been put on a pedestal for years or has had a very stable place in this person's life. But I'm going to tell you again, you know, there's an energy very strong here that this person is leaving that situation. However you feel about it, that's your, that's your business, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting. So let's change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We would do the same with your clarifying cards. And as always, you guys know there are absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Now, currently at the bottom of your general energy deck, absolutely. Somebody tried to make things work. Eight of Pentacles putting it in the work. They tried to focus on the situation. But again, I'm going to say it's stagnant. You see these spider webs here? The spider webs here. You know what I mean? They've learned a lot during this process. Because you see how the books are stacking up. They've learned a lot from this situation, from this... um relationship they could have been with this person for eight plus years you could definitely be dealing with a um earth sign towards virgo capricorn someone rising venus but more than anything it's like somebody tried to put their focus and intentions into it but it just doesn't seem like it's bearing a fruit that they want because again you see how the pentacles have these spider webs in it spider webs talk about stagnant energy so there's stagnancy here and this person is really you see how it's, he has tunnel vision specifically on his pinnacle and pinnacles hold value. So this person is trying to think about what it is that they truly value and what it is that they truly want to invest in. Cause again, pinnacles are about value investments, stability. Okay. 
So let's see what we get for you guys today. Um, we're going to go ahead and shuffle and get your major arcana, which would be the justice card. And um, we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, okay? So let's just part it randomly. <laughs> Somebody that you have some type of um, connection to. I feel like this person is going to be telling you that, you know, things are very toxic with this individual, but this person may be a little toxic themselves. I'm not going to lie. You could be involved with a Capricorn, okay, with the devil energy. Also, there's something about this person's motives that's not really seen easily as well. This person may have... Um, uh, the fact that matter that there's two people involved, I'm getting very two strong female energies, regardless of if they want you or not, they were still entertaining someone when they were with someone, okay? Some rat shit, okay? Um, with the nine of cups, that's fulfillment, getting everything that you wish for, you know, toasting, happiness, especially when it comes to emotions, because cups is the emotions and feelings, but also he's the only one here in his car. So why would he need nine cups? So this could be someone who's, you know, a bit gluttonous. They do things out of self-pleasure. And it's almost like it's paining him to smile like this. Like, this, this smile doesn't necessarily seem genuine. It's almost like, uh, you know, kind of a little cringy. There's something about this person that's a little cringy. Okay? So, let's see what we get here for you guys today. Okay? Again, we're going to get the Justice card. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm not making this up and you guys will watch me shuffle. You got a magician. This person could be quite manipulative. I feel like this person may have a thing with manipulating people. <clears throat> But also, I do feel like this person is trying to manifest you in their life for the long haul because you do have the hair I find at the bottom of the deck. That's traditional marriage, traditional relationships. Also relates to the energy of Taurus. And I did say you guys have a lot of um, earthy energy. And then look what you got at the bottom. I spoke of her. Did I not? So, again, you got strong um, earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then you also have strong Leo, specifically. Leo, Sag, Aries. So let's see what we got here. And you're going to find out the truth about a situation and you're going to see some progression in Sag season, which we are currently in with the major kind of temperance, patiently waiting. I'm going to say also, if you've been waiting, if like I said earlier, if this person has said that they are leaving a situation, I feel like the time has come. Like something is getting ready to come into fruition because she has two cups and she's looking directly at the fire. And again, we are currently in the temperance energy in Sag season. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Yep, somebody's coming in with a love offer with the Ace of Cups. But I'm going to say this again, they're holding back. Four of Pentacles holding on for dear life or holding back. Look at his face. Looks sneaky. Looks like there's something that this person is up to. And there's that, look at that. I can't make this up. Look at this. There's that damn, you got Three of Cups right behind the moon. The moon, things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. You have the crab coming to the surface, could be involved in a cancer. Piscean energy right here with the moon. Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Three of Cups. Hidden third party. Okay. And then there's that Queen of Cups. So you got Piscean, you got Cancer, and then you got Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. I'm telling you, this person is, they're hiding. Or do you, for as long as you have been a third party, you may not have known it or you may have known it. They're not being very truthful about some things. But I feel like you knew certain aspects you knew about. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? And it's going to, I don't feel like it's going to be long before you find this out because we didn't even get halfway through the deck, mid halfway, you know? So for your card in front of it, absolutely. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sorrow, Sadness, Grief. Um, Like your heart has been crushed. And then right here, you have the Judgment card. So I feel like there may have been a separation between you and this person at one point. Or also, if you found out that you were a third party, you may have broken up with this person or cut this person off. They're trying to come back with the judgment card. Reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. And look what's directly up under it. This person is going to be talking about long-term commitment. So you guys are definitely dealing with a um, Taurus, okay? So you have the Three of Swords, and then you have the judgment card. Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. That's why I said, I feel like if there was heartbreak associated with this situation, or I'm also hearing that some of you all could have been in your head about the situation, feeling like they would never leave this person because they were going to reconcile with this person. I feel like they are going to leave this person. And they're coming back towards you is what I'm really getting. You got a lot of airy energy here. And then judgment. You got Scorpio as well. So something that you could have um, separated or cut this person off in Scorpio season. Bottom of the deck because lies and deception and secrets. The moon. Things hidden. Things unknown. Things we do not have clarity about. Second time getting this card in your pre-shuffle. So there's definitely secrets that... Um, 
came to light and caused heartbreak. And also, I feel like there's more secrets, to be honest with you. Something's coming to the surface for sure. You see how that lobster is coming to the surface? Something is coming to the surface. Also, December 4th, we just had a new moon eclipse. So some of you guys, something got eclipsed out of your life. You may have eclipsed this person out of your life. There's that moon. You see how it's coming over this one? You have two moons here, and it's eclipsing the, the full moon. Yeah, there's something that, that's coming to the light or has or did come to the light around that time also. It's part of the deck so we can shuffle. I can't make this shit up. I'm just pardoned randomly. Seven of Swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Seven of Swords are right someone who feels like they are getting away with the deception. Typically, you know how they say somebody getting away with murder. They say they're getting away red-handed. This person is tiptoeing their ass, clean up out of the picture. Clown shit. I always say that with this card because behind them, their circus tense, and it's clear that this person may have tiptoed right up out of that tent. So somebody's been acting a damn donkey. Um, I'm going to say again with this person, I feel like somebody's coming back towards you for a reconciliation. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? The fact that it looks like he may have come out of that tent, what I'm getting is that this person may be lying. Okay, there's a liar right here. You see how he's looking back? This person is telling you, like, I'm done with this person. I'm, you know, it's done and over with. But here's the thing. <clears throat> they may be coming back towards you very quickly because the person may have put them out. They're trying to make it like they came back towards you on their own free will. I, I do feel like they have strong feelings. Look, you had it again. Okay? So somebody's definitely trying to come back. That's a reconciliation. That's definite. Okay? The truth is going to be told. Uh, right? There's, there's secrets that are withheld. You don't know. In reverse, again, you're finding out. And I feel like what you're really finding out is that this person, I'm going to say this again, this person also could be married. Um... This person saying, yeah, I'm leaving this situation. I'm done with it. It's over. I'm tired of being a wounded warrior. Enough is enough. But I'm going to say yet again, I feel like for some of you all, this person didn't have a choice but to get out because they may have been put out. And now they come back towards you. Now, that doesn't diminish the fact that they, they may have been put out because that person, their person found out that they were in a third party. But I feel like more than anything, they definitely do care about you. But it's just messy the way they're going about it. This person is kind of messy. The way that they're going about things. Okay. So going to clarify for the three of swords. Bottom of the deck. The world card. Absolutely. So the world card upright is about one cycle ending. So a brand new cycle can begin. And reverse is like this person goes back and forth with this individual. So that's why I say it's an energy of either A. This person has children with this individual already. Or this person could be pregnant. And then also I'm just getting a vibe of, like I said, they just have go through these continuous breakup, makeup, breakup, makeup cycles. And so for some of you all, you may have found this out about this, this couple. And so that, that caused heartbreak, but it's like, this person's coming back towards you. Oh, and I'm going to tell you something. If they're talking about moving in or living with you very quickly, you may want to really think about that. You may want to think about that, okay? The energy of Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Especially Sun, Sign with the Major Arcanas, okay? Clarifier for the Three of Swords for Libra. We had a bunch of cards. They all flipped down, so I'm going to keep shuffling. So a clarifier for the Three of <clears throat> Swords, okay? Yeah, that's what I said. You're not going to like what this person is offering. Something ain't sitting too well with you about it. And it's not sitting too well with you that this person puts you in a third party situation. You got the four of cups. He's looking directly at these three. Then you got the three of swords. That's what I'm telling you. Some of you all are coming to the conclusion that they're not offering you much. In fact, it's like, I feel like a lot of you all have had this aha. Mm -hmm. You, A lot of you all have had this aha moment. Because remember, we stopped right here. You see how there's illumination, like an aha. And then even right here, he's blowing a horn. He's blowing a trumpet, which means some, some, somebody's sounding an alarm on a situation and i feel like some of you all are like i get it it's painful but i get it a lot of you all are realizing that this person is being deceitful and that they may never leave this person you get what i'm saying six of swords are right they're leaving a situation going towards something that's more positively aligned i said before there could be a child or children involved okay in reverse they're not leaving something and that's what i'm getting or you, it could be that you feel wholeheartedly like they'll never leave the situation. You get what I mean? So let's get a clarify for the judgment card for Libra, Summon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Libra, and you see how it flipped right on my finger? Yep. Yeah. And see, emotionally, again, some of you guys could be dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You had a lot of water in the beginning. 
remember in this other, in your main energy deck, right? You had the nine of cups upright, gluttony. And I said that because if you look behind him, it's like he feels like he has everything under wraps. He has everything under control. But behind him, there's a blue curtain where we don't know what's behind that curtain. Something is hidden. Where they feel like their cups are full in reverse, it's being exposed. They're losing a lot. Somebody has lost quite a bit. Um, and what it is that they were hoping for is not going to come into fruition. And I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the other person. For some of you all, it could be you. But I'm telling you right now that somebody wants reconciliation and some of you all are going to say, yeah, I'm not going to take that cup. This is done. There could have also definitely been a breakup in September. Some type of ending in September for some of you all also because you did have the Nine of Wands. Then you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So there's an energy of September. Also, this person could be a September Virgo that you're dealing with. But more than anything, I feel like Outside of this being a card of reconciliation and bringing a situation back to life, a lot of you all are also going to be making a decision to decide, what the hell is this? <laughs> decide that, you know, you are not going to move forward with this situation. I feel like it's, it's weird because it's almost like, look at his energy, like very arrogant and certain of himself. This It's almost like this person feels like they just know they got it in the bag, like they just know. And I feel like you're going to go ahead and let them know, like, yeah, not so much. Because I know about all the, all the skeletons in your closet. And that's not what these are. But, you know, that's what I'm picking up intuitively here. Okay? So, Libra, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.